So we're going to be investigating how the type of material will affect rate of heat loss. So the first thing that we need is our input variable, the thing that we are going to be changing each time in our experiments. So each time we are going to change the type of material that we are using as an insulator. In order to work out which one's best, we're going to measure the temperature every minute. The thing that you measure is known as your output variable. Before we start our experiment, we need to write a hypothesis. What do we think is going to happen and why? Which material will be the best insulator and the worst insulator and why will they be? Next you need to draw your diagram. This will really help you understand the method. Make sure you use a pencil, a ruler and draw scientific symbols, not a 3D picture. Now it's time to follow our method and do the experiment. Step one, boil some water. Step two, measure your boiling water into a beaker using a measuring cylinder. You will need to do this three times. Step three, take your three beakers with water in and cover your three beakers with one of the materials. You also need to put a thermometer in each one. Step four, before you start your timer, you need to take the starting temperature of each of your three beakers and you need to record those in the results table. Step five, you need to start your timer. Step six, after a minute, you need to measure the temperature in each of the three beakers and record the new temperature. You need to repeat this every minute for at least 10 minutes. Step seven, you need to repeat the whole process for each of the different materials you want to test. Once you have all three results for each minute, you can calculate an average by adding the three together and dividing by three. Make sure you use a calculator. Compare your results for each of your different materials to see which one was the best thermal insulator. To make an experiment accurate, you must use the correct measuring equipment. For example, we used a timer, a measuring cylinder and a thermometer. To make your experiment reliable, you must test it three times and then calculate an average. We kept our experiment fair by only changing the input variable. We kept everything else the same. We used the same volume of water in each beaker. We measured the temperature at the same time for each beaker. We wrapped each beaker in the same amount of insulating material. You also need to evaluate your experiment to see if it was fair, accurate and reliable and to make sure that you know what your input and output variable were. You can find all the information in this video. The best thermal insulators will be the ones with pockets of air in as air is a gas which makes it a better thermal insulator than solids or liquids.